Hello Facebook, hello everybody, Jamie here. It is cocktail time with Jamie. It is Monday, June, I think it's the 14th, and it's 14th, perfect, uh, June 14th. And um, I'll give everybody a few minutes to log in here. Um, sometimes it takes a few minutes uh, for you to get my notification that I am on and I am live. I'm sorry that I have not been on since last week. Um, so I appreciate uh, you watching me. I appreciate your support. I appreciate, you know, it's funny. I was just talking to a friend and she was telling me how she was talking to somebody else and they were talking about my cocktail live and um, some drinks to make. So kind of prompted uh, me to um, come up with a cool fun drink for today. So uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hello, Cheryl. I miss you, Cheryl. Hope to see you soon. Hello, Aileen. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Ralph. Ralph, we'll see you shortly uh, for the beer dinner. Um, if you are watching me live, if you can put hashtag live in the comments. If you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay. I always like to see who is joining me. And the more comments I get, the more um, it gets out there um, and people see my live. So hello, Melissa. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. And uh, let's see, so Monday, it is a start to the new week, which means we have a new $9.99 special this week. It is, it is our fig and bacon pizza topped with arugula. Um, that is to go, um, that is available until next Sunday. We are closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays, don't forget. Um, Thursday, we are going to have jazz again. Um, it was so successful last Thursday that we decided to have jazz again this week. So 6.30 to 9.30. John, Simon, and friends in the garden, weather permitting. Um, if it is raining, we will have to cancel, but as of right now, the weather looks good. So um, it will be nice to have Jazz back and in the garden again this week. So uh, come on, check them out, make reservations. We only have limited tables outside there. So let's see, what else? Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, Father's Day, we are open for Father's Day. I can't believe it's already Father's Day. We will be open, uh, we will have outside dining. Marcus did a huge face Facebook Live this morning about the streets, the um, Ellenville streets. Um, I, we really don't know what is happening Friday and Saturday and Sunday. As of right now, Sundays are canceled, so there will be no, um, streets will not be closed on Sundays. Um, and I'm not really sure what's gonna happen on Friday and Saturday. If you're interested, um, just send us a message and um, we uh, can get back to you about that. Um, but we do have our outside garden that is available um, and uh, you can sit outside. So let's see, what else am I missing here? I think I touched on most things. I was talking about Father's Day. We're open Father's Day. Uh, make reservations. We definitely recommend reservations. Um, Father's Day, July 4th we will be open, which I can't believe we're even talking about July 4th, but July 4th we, are, we will be open. Um, but we will be closing our kitchen around 8 o'clock. I'd like to get my staff out of here so they can go enjoy the fireworks um, as well. I always feel giving back to our staff is really important. <clears throat> and that's it. So today I am going to make a very, very simple, simple drink. Um, it's one of my favorite Proseccos, uh, Fantanelle, which is from northern Italy. Uh, Marco and his wife are friends of Marcus and I. Uh, we've gone um, to their winery. Uh, we have had dinner with them in Italy. We see them at a lot of food shows, and if I messaged him right now, he'd message us back. That's super important to us, and um, we appreciate what Marco does. Um, so, Fantanelle Prosecco and St. Elder Pomplemousse, which is a grapefruit liqueur, um, and that is, the sim that is simple. That's it, that's all we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna make two, because I have a friend visiting, so uh, I can sit down and have a glass of wine with her. And I'm gonna just uh, put some ice in the glass because I like my spritz, my Prosecco Puffle Mousse Spritz um, over ice. I like to keep it nice and cold. This is a great summer drink. Um, you can add any liqueur to your drink. You can do hibiscus, you can do grapefruit. Um, you don't even need to add a liqueur. You can add um, you know, a juice if you only have a juice at home. Fresh squeezed grapefruit juice would be really awesome in this as well. Um, that would be like a mimosa. Um, but this is, uh, this is delicious, very light, um, very light grapefruit flavor. I'm going to add about an ounce and a half of the pomplemousse, and I'm just going to top it off with some Prosecco. So that is simple, that is easy, and uh, you could put some fresh grapefruit juice in here if you want a little bit more grapefruit flavor. You know, it's funny because the glass, it doesn't look pink, but the bottle, it's pink, so, um, but... 
I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious. There you are. Cheers. And mm, ah, just a little bit. Might need a touch more, but it's very yummy. We'll just do a touch more of the grapefruit. And there you have it. Nice, simple, easy. Do I have hibiscus? I do have hibiscus for, um, for the restaurant. I don't believe I have an extra bottle. Um, oh, but I do also have blood orange, which is really good as well. I might have an extra bottle of the hibiscus liqueur. I do have blood orange. I have grapefruit. Um, and from what I just heard, um, I did just hear, oh yeah, and then the elderflower would be really good in it as well. So thanks to my support staff behind me here. Um, I did just hear that the legislature um, passed uh, a bill that says that restaurants can no longer, after I think July 5th, sell liquor um, or cocktails to go. I'm not sure what's going to happen in New York. I know that there is an executive order that Cuomo um, had put into place that allows us to, uh, to sell liquor, wine, and stuff to go by the bottle. Um, so hopefully uh, that will he'll put that executive order back into play and we can continue with that because that's a really big help but in the meantime you can still come in until the beginning of July as long as as much as I know and buy your wine and spirits and stuff to go um, and uh, I'll keep you informed on that listen back a year and a half ago things were changing every day now they're changing a little bit um, a, a little bit further apart but um, I still like to keep you guys informed of what's going on but if you would like to come in and get wine, beer, spirits, liquor, anything like that to go, um, come on in. Our shelves are stocked. You do not have to buy food to take something to go now. Um, and I know that if we are going to stop being able to do that, we are going to have to move some of our stuff. So there will probably be a big sale, um, or at least we'll put that out there. So um, thank you, everybody, for watching me. I appreciate it. Um, and that is it. Cheers to you. Uh, get a Prosecco, a great summer drink, and uh, come here, get one, and that is it. Oh, our beer dinner tonight. If anybody's interested, we do have maybe one or two seats left for our beer dinner. Uh, four beers and uh, four beers and a dish for $29. Uh, yes, we do have rosés. We have a lot of different rosés. Um, thank you for asking. We have Wolfer. Uh, we have uh, Pom Pomenicki. We have a um, Vino Verde rosé. I have Lemro Landing Rosé, so we do have lots of rosés. I would recommend getting a couple of them, trying them all, different styles from different places. I love rosé. That's what I drank yesterday. Um, rosé all day is what I say. So uh, that is it for today. Cheers, everybody, and we will see you soon. Thanks for watching.